Mike Pfeiffer. Uh, this will be update nine on the rehab, I believe. Um, I'm going to show you what I got done. I took a video, a little little short clip the other day of where it stood the other day and what I've done in the last couple of days. Um, I'm not done with the scene by any means, but um, I need to do the coal dripping off of the conveyors, which I need to put some scotch tape, uh, super glue some scotch tape to the ends and then stick some coal to it as though it's dribbling off the end of the conveyor. I also have to do a couple of roofs or a roof on a building and then I have to build another building as their incoming uh, team track area and work on that. But uh, I think you guys will be happy with what's going on. I'm happy with what's going on. Uh, so let's go take a look. Okay, uh, this video will be pieced together over a few days I'm sure. But uh, I had a little problem over here. I had the track was lifting up on the inside edge. I guess humidity or lack of the humidity. I did get some uh, base plaster down along the bases of the uh, uprights for the conveyor. I got the mounds made for my coal pile. All I got to do is paint it black and actually add the coal. I got my coal conveyor. Um, detailed and weathered and actually got some coal put on it I'm gonna try and do a little tape or something there on the end and try and get it like the coal is running off onto the other conveyor and then the same thing at this end once I get the coal pile done we'll see how that works out I still have a lot of uh, ground cover material to do but now you kind of get the gist of how the coal pile will look. It's kind of stark white right now, but once I paint all that black and then put the coal on top of it, um, it's going to look much better. Let me get a, see if I can get kind of an aerial shot here. There you kind of, kind of see the whole layout of it. I was also having some trouble with my uh, my little coal train jumping the track up here. And I don't know what the deal is with the uh, humidity or something outside or whatever, but I had a little kink in the track up there. I did put some coal, the same coal I used on the conveyor in the coal, the little coal hoppers. It comes down and goes into the washing plant and then is shot over into the pile and then the pile will be pushing into the chute and the chute will take it up to the flood loader. I think we've been over all of that before. But anyway, this is how it's coming along. I just thought I'd uh, capture this and then when I get it painted black and get the some of the ground cover done here, I'll take another video and then I'll assemble all this together as another update. Okay gang, um, here's what the area is looking like currently. As you can see, I took that little video the other day of just the piles with uh, in white. I now have the conveyors, I have the coal on the conveyors, I did the other day too, but I have the coal down in its area. I have a few things sitting here that I think are going to remain. Obviously the old trucks there are probably going to remain there. I have put shrubs and yuccas around the outside. Um, let me see if I can back this up a little. The other back up. I guess it was backed up about as far as it could go. But uh, anyway, I also, uh, amongst putting all these vehicles and things out here, I put the little hot dog vendor here. I don't know if those tanks and things are going to remain there. That little building and that um, that little crane back there. Uh, they don't have permanent homes yet. However, as you can see, I did put in the road around the gravel. Um, it's drying over here. It's still wet. But you can see that I have some cones out because uh, they're grading the road. And of course, while they're grading the road, somebody has to be coming in just to mess up the guy in the grater. Um, we get over here. 
I have put a road in uh, back to the building itself to the uh, washer and put a couple of trees back in there where they used to be I've got to uh, weather my uh, my crossings and I may even give some tint to these roads I think they look a little on the pink side uh, once they get completely dry as you can see this one over here is pretty dry and light and this one here is still dark because it's still kind of wet but I've got to do the weathering on the crossings I've also gotten all these trees put back in um, in this area right here well I'm just gonna back up and pan around one last time so you can kinda of see what this is looking like and for today I hope you enjoyed it. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that update. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress, and i uh, got to put some people and a uh, few things out there yet, and I don't know, whatever uh, comes to my mind. Of course, you got to have some dogs and cats running around out there. Uh, maybe a coyote. Uh, but maybe a cowboy sitting on the hill over there. I don't know. All these ideas are coming to me while I'm standing here talking about it. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this update, and as usual... We'll see you the next time.